So I've got a quick disclaimer about the nature of this video. For the most part, it's just going to be me shooting the shit about um, some of the account goals I've got in progress right now. And if you want to stick around for that, I suggest uh, this video is best served at the back so you don't watch the video. It's just going to be me uh, woodcutting yew trees. So if you want to watch that, be my guest. If not, just uh, have it playing in the back and leave a comment to let me know what you think of my goals and uh, enjoy. I wanted to take this opportunity just to uh, ramble on a little bit about the goals for this account, just to add a bit of filler to this episode, as I imagine most of the clips will just consist of me getting hunter level ups and then the skill cape, so a bit of hype for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm at 86 right now, looking at uh, just over 3.5 mil XP, so I, I, I guess I'm under like 1 mil XP earned overall in the last three days. As for projections when this episode will be released, it's looking like perhaps if the going rate is anything to go by maybe in two weeks time anyway regardless of when this episode will be released I just wanted to talk about some goals just to vary up a little bit so I guess one of the things I'm gonna be able to do uh, and that I actually tested out on my Iron Man my regular Iron Man is uh, birdhouses that's because it will be convenient to do on Zaya not on Zaya sorry on uh, Fossil Island and if I get 60 crafting up, I can therefore make yew tree birdhouses. I'm going to be looking to stockpile a lot of bird's nests over the course of the next 10 million hunter XP or so. That will give me a nice uh, base amount of bird nests going forward to when I can actually start doing sarabrews. That's going to be super useful in the future. So I think it's a worthwhile investment to make, even though it's a slight deviation from what we want to do in this episode. That's one of the things I wanted to talk about. Yeah, it's a good method, and I'll probably be making a guide on that as well uh, as soon as possible. Another thing I wanted to talk about is actually some of the ideas behind getting this 99 out of the way so early on this account. And um, that's for several reasons, and the, the reasons I decided to use Herbivore to get to 99 is as follows. I think I'll be able to stockpile a huge amount of herbs um, going forward. I've already, I think, gotten over 160 Ranars and I'm, a, like, I'm, I'm probably about three levels into the grind as it stands. So um, it's truly an amazing way to get a lot of supplies banked. So I'm knocking two things out of the way. Maybe I'll get to uh, level 60 or above by the end of this episode, which will be amazing. I'll be able to make super restores and all that good stuff going forward. So that's going to be our uh, beneficial way of progressing another skill through Hunter. So I'm trying to be super efficient here, trying to integrate two skills into one. As well as that, by 99 Hunter, I'll be able to catch every single Impling barehanded. And you know, those lucky ones might even come in clutch with some third age. So I'm looking forward to that. As well as that, I think you unlock the Chin uh, Hunting Grounds. So that's going to be super beneficial going forward uh, for like Armadil. And if I want to train range or something like that, I can just pop down to the uh, chin hunting grounds and not have to compete with like thousands and thousands of bots. So yeah, that's pretty much my thought process behind it. As well as that, there's obviously the aspect of uh, collecting enough fossils, possibly to finish off the museum kudos, which will then lead to me unlocking volcanic mine, which is going to be super useful as well, because that uh, unlocks uh, the volcanic ash fertilization spell by the time you get to like, what, 85 uh, magic, I think it is. I'm not too sure. Either way, that will be uh, a super beneficial thing going forward. I know I've said that a lot, but that's going to be a nice way for the account to uh, go forward without using too much inventory space and sort of synergize the farmer and a bit better with birdhouses, which I'll be doing all the way along uh, until basically I die on this account. So um, with that out of the way, I wanted to talk about some of the other goals I've got in mind uh, in the short term, both and until episode 20. So one of them is probably going to be achievement diaries. Uh, and that's because it's going to help out with farm runs and just is useful for hardcores, particularly when it comes to like the RD tasks, uh, because you unlock the further noted drops at the Tower of Life, which will actually get us enough supplies to uh, make some super stores. So I know a good way to get uh, sardines as well which is in the fishing shop in Port Sarum for those of you that are interested and you basically only need those and uh, some starting red spider eggs which you can either get in Karamja or the wilderness dungeon I'm not sure which method I'm going to use to collect them but uh, it'll probably be Karamja just to be safe even though I'm probably going to have to venture into the wilderness to get the rune pouch at some, some point on this account. But yeah, another goal I wanted to set, and I might make this a thing for like, um, I suppose, milestone episodes going forward, so long as I don't die, is to, I'm going to just say it straight away, and I'm going to be like, just, um, I want to unlock and craft an amulet of fury by episode 20. So that gives me, this is currently uh, the recording for episode 14, that gives me 
five and a half, maybe six episodes to uh, work on that goal. So I'm gonna just talk about briefly like some of the money making methods and uh, the progression I'm gonna do beforehand and how that's gonna pan out. So basically, what I'm gonna do before that is I want to synergize uh, Kingdom but I'm not sure whether that's going to play into uh, the account build before I get 65 Slayer or after, because I'm obviously going to need to unlock Lun Lunar Diplomacy um, to do crafting by the Molten Glass method, the spell you unlock at level 77. So I'm going to need to go to the Mage Training Arena, most likely, and that way I can knock out Bones to Peaches as well. This feels like a bolty esque type video where you talked about unlocking goals, but I hope you guys enjoy the ramble. Um, either way, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Uh, but back to the point, I, I think 65 Slayer would be a good goal to grind out before I do Lunar Diplomacy or contact or any other spells that unlock more Slayer creatures at Neve. Um, because then I can rely on Dust Devils for regular income. I know you can get there uh, probably like 100k upwards per trip, even with like Monkfish Karen Bonds, depending on your inventory setup. I'll hope to have uh, some tier 70 armors in my possession by then, so hopefully it can outlast a little more time at the Dust Devils. And the reason why I'm chopping U logs is to make some birdhouses, as I've said before. So um, back to the Fury Grind. So probably after 65, that's when I'll be looking to get my magic up using Mage Training Arena. So there's a lot of goals going forward uh, ahead in anticipation of the Amulet of Fury goal by episode uh, 20, but I feel like it's a good grind to go for, a very good one to go for early on, uh, as the stats on that Amulet are going to be significantly better than the Glory in terms of Prayer and um, Strength bonus, not necessarily so much in terms of defensive bonuses, even though it's going to be uh, probably plus 7 defensive stats on all of the uh, defenses, so that's uh, my goal going forward for episode 20. I was debating whether to do this or the fire cape, but I think like uh, Amulet of Fury will be a surefire way of uh, of benefiting the account in the long term as well. And uh, after that, I suppose, well, when we're talking ahead, probably post episode 20 is uh, going back to woodcutting and, uh, and all that jazz. It'll probably be a nice way to progress it by going back to, or no, not going back, going to Dagonoff Rex uh, for the first time. I'll likely be using Ivan Blast to solo him in the safe spot in the north uh, east corner of the arena. So I'm going to want to have a high defense level going forward to do to be able to do that. And once we do that, we can more effectively do the birdhouses. So there's a lot of goals uh, synergizing together nicely right there. But I hope to maybe unlock a Berserker Ring as well for the account uh, by that point. And you might be thinking, right, you're on a Hardcore Iron Man, why would you ever remove the Ring of Life? But if you guys go back and uh, watch one of a friend's videos, he talked about he talked about getting a Defense Cape, which he did at Nightmare Zone. So that might be something I might consider doing. Um, I'm not sure whether they're going to nerf Nightmare Zone in the game or they're going to nerf RD Knights. There's a lot of speculation about both. Uh, a lot of content creators have been very vocal about both things. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts going forward. Um, yeah, if I get the defense cape, I won't need to wear a Ring of Life and then I'll, I'll have like a Berserker Ring Eye, which I'm sure has a higher strength bonus than a Fire Cape. So. That's, those are just some rambles, some thoughts of the account going forward. I could die before any of that happens, let's hope not. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to go back to uh, Training Hunter now. So I hope you've enjoyed that little ramble, and uh, if you did, please let me know in the comments what you think of my goals going forward. And let's get back into some progress content.